What's up, people? I'm going to go away from functions for a second. I'm going to get into some slightly advanced stuff and slightly easy stuff. This is mostly for animators on the forum that I post these tutorials to. Today we're going to learn the go to and play and go to and stop methods. So first we actually need an animation to play. So I'm going to create something real quick here. It's just a ball. A little motion tween. Copy frames. Paste. Reverse. So when we run this, yeah, ball bouncing back and forth. Pretty intense. Anyways, so we got this ball bouncing back and forth. Nothing too complicated. Next, we're going to create a rectangle. Nope, I didn't select the ball. Oh, we gotta do it on the new layer. Anyways, so we got this rectangle and every time you press on this rectangle it's going to go to a different screen oops there we go so we'll call it the home where the heck is the color Color. Here we go. So we got home. Pretty neat. So every time you click on this box, it's going to go home. The home frame is going to be right here. So it's just going to be an empty. No, it's not going to be empty. Hello. Do our home. So we're home. So when we run this, and it's pretty lame. So let's navigate the timeline here. Um, create a new layer right there. So every time it hits this frame in the timeline. We're going to use go to and play one. So in other words, the go to and play function is going to play it at the first frame. You could also label your frames. Um, well, shit. Uh, oh yeah, you can name them. So you could call this start. We'll say start, and then you could um, you could say start. Note how you'll never see that welcome home garbage. It'll just keep bouncing back and forth because it'll never reach there as long as this is there. And one will do the same. We'll show you just just so you believe me. See? But I like to be, you know, more accurate. Anyways, now we're going to make an event handler that will create a go to and stop. An event handler you're going to have to learn sooner or later, but. Oh crap. You have to. First, you got to name your freaking box. And to do that, you need it either as a movie clip, which we will make a movie clip. You got rid of the name, but it's there in the end. We'll say, um, home button, even though it's not a button, it's there. It's like the worst tutorial ever. Um, anyway, anyways, um, so you gotta first attach the button dot add. Event listener 
mouse.click or mouse event.click comma home take home in parentheses and we call a function called take home takes a mouse event Ooh, it's called event and it's a data type of mouse event and then we just say go to and stop at frame what frame is that? let's see here 16, 17 18, 19. So we want to stop at frame 19. See, that's why you need to label them so you don't sit around counting all day. So, what this is going to do is every time you click on this box, it's going to go to frame 19. It'll say, Hello, you are home. So, when you get bored of this animation, well, very cool. So basically go to and stop will go directly to that frame and stop at that frame. While the go to and play will go to that frame and keep playing from it. And those are the two functions that you'll probably use to direct the timeline most of the time. So I hope you liked this tutorial. It was it was probably confusing because I haven't gone over event handlers, but for most action script users who like to animate on the forum, this will help a lot. And yeah, I will see you next tutorial and we'll go back to the normal schedule. Peace.